Hello guys and welcome to episode 37 of my Total War Rome 2 playthrough, playing as the Sassanids on very hard difficulty. Today we're going to be moving on with the attack on Arsenium, and that's after previously destroying both of these Vandalite armies in what was a pretty epic battle, giving our elephants like 600 kills or something, it was crazy. The Watchmen are still good to go, so let's go ahead and annihilate these armies. I uh, probably don't need to, I'm just going to move up here towards Arsenium and take that and uh, that should leave us the settlement. We will auto-resolve this battle, now with a 94% remaining. I believe that pulled out the garrison as well, so we should just leave the settlement in our hands. Let's go ahead and uh, enslave impossible. them, and we will attack. Good, auto-resolve this battle, 97%, and that should destroy the Vandalai, I think. And we'll raise their settlement, and uh, that's job done. Faction destroyed. Let's uh, switch out some of the stuff in here. Make sure we get the well courier post, and of course the city center. That's generally how we sort it out. Our income has dropped an awful lot recently. Not entirely sure why. Um, the executives of the Fire of Great Purpose, they are pretty much good to go by the looks of things. Not a fan of this uh, Nahan Navali army though. I'm on my um, borders there. Might have to worry about them. So I'm going to have the executives of the Fire of Great Purpose get into this settlement and hopefully we'll get some decent replenishment. We've only got 1,600 to work with. Uh, it's definitely light. Um, and what I'm going to do with Datis is actually head him back up since we have our spy arriving. Um, in the southern Italy. Uh, Parmis uh, finished off a agent in the last turn, so I think we'll just uh, try and get her to do it again. We'll go for the um, assassination with a concealed blade. End them. Enemy assassinated. Fantastic. Okay, so Avengers First Cavalry uh, is now recovering. Uh, the Heroes Among Men can't move this turn because they've been hit by agent actions. Um, Xerxes can sort of move that way I guess because we want to start taking out those agents. Cartier is going to jump into administration and we're going to have Sogdians move as far as he can and then go into um, administration himself because we need to get around to Italy and start converting the culture of these settlements. So let's go for administration. We'll grab Kairos and uh, also continue up into Dacia. Okay, let's do that. Alright, well, administration there, and uh, Arsamese and Cartier are good. Okay, well, Dagon, our navy is almost good to go, honestly. Uh, maybe this is what's uh, costing me so much. I mean, this, this navy is pretty damn strong. Maybe I just fill it with weaker units from now on so that I can stop draining my upkeep so much. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's get the Forgotten Warriors to hit the capital settlement of Gallic Rome. Although it looks like Gallic Rome's already under siege. Hang on. Is that the Caledoniae? That must be. Let's uh, see if we can get some talks with them. Because we're only minus 29 unfriendly with the Caledonii. Uh, it might be worth just sending them a small gift or something. Yeah, they're definitely taking a lot of damage there. If we march, we come down to like Massilia. I think we should probably do that. Uh, because if we're not going to be able to take the capital of Gallic, Gallic Rome, what's the point? Let's go and have a look over here. Apparently that was trespassing. Oh, maybe just moving through that little bit of land was. Yep, it's the Caledonii. Interesting. 
maybe head down to Gagovia then. And yeah, I'll have Schmidt's commandos move down past uh, Lusitania. I don't really care about going through their lands. They're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. Right, Fury of Erthragna. Going to take himself Aletium. Go ahead and auto resolve this assault with the aggressive stance. And who knew that the Persians went ahead and took over the entire of Italy? Changing history forever, boys. Let's uh, make sure we have the trading post. Maybe a pit mine there, but we don't have enough cash, so we'll just go for a religious gathering then. Why not? Because our cash reserves are going to be low for a very long time anyway. Still heading across to Syracuse. And uh, one turn till surrender at Hactal. I'm assuming they will attack me instead of letting the settlement fall. Question is, what do we do with Avengers First Cavalry? I kind of feel like we just leave them where they are. Might just upgrade the armor on the Pushtig bands to spend the last of the cash. And that is it. Okay. Hopefully not getting slums anywhere, because I have been pretty low on cash for a reasonably long time now. But 5,500 this turn isn't terrible. I would just like to have more. Unassigned tradition for the Watchmen. Oh, okay. Since they took that settlement, we'll give them the Grand Camp following. And for the General, we will upgrade Slaughter Lord. Good. Let's end the turn. A pretty successful turn in general. But like I said, the income is relatively low. Might be worth spending a couple turns reinvesting the cash into culture buildings. You have brought this on yourselves. Your people will curse your name when rivers run red with their blood. Well then, time to uh, go to war with Hispania Siteria. I would expect Lusitania to do the same. They didn't. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what guys, uh, what we're going to do if this is the case is maybe I'll keep that army that was on the water on the water for now and then move it down south to attack Egypt. And Zakistan already moving across with their navy, that's what I like to see. The Gundi eye. They're really hitting me with agent actions already. I am literally going to have to destroy everyone, aren't I? Here comes the rebel army. We're going to take this onto the battle map. So, they're relatively strong. I should be able to kill them off quite easily, though. Um, well, they're not strong. Uh, they're annoying. Um, they have four lots of horse archers and there's not too much I can do about that except from wait until they get into range of my immortal infantry and Kurdish archers our formation is actually really good um, so I might just keep it where they are but we're going to have all the pushtig ban on one side and uh, all of the lighter cavalry on the other side with the general behind let's go for that so we are downhill which is kind of annoying I guess I could move to like one side, but still, even then, 
probably just better fighting on this little flat area down here. They're going to come at me with the horsemen. I'm just going to get my archers to uh, sort of counteract those. How many cav do they have on each side? They've got horse archers, step cav. The step cav I can hit with the dalamites, so I might keep the dalamites out wide to attack those. And I'm going to keep my horse archers back. Going to uh, we understand. turn off skirmish. archers. We are at your command. Elite archers, advance at speed. Meanwhile, Pushtig Band can just come out wide and try and get them out really far wide. I can. And that's step cavalry, so we'll have a you know push to down, just to literally go and attack those. Okay, um, so yeah, they pretty much suicided their summation horse archers here, which is good. Um, let's now target their horse archers here. Fortunately, my dudes are pretty well armored. They're going to try and charge into archers. my archers, which could be kind of annoying. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we killed off their horse archers on this side anyway. What are your orders? Right, time to get my Calafrax over from the left to just run down there slingers and so forth our general is under attack okay under attack doesn't really matter okay those push stick banner done Front line just holding too damn well. It's pretty ridiculous. Orders, my lord. We await your orders. Riders, advance. Charge into the back of these steps, spearmen. I think. Good. Heavy horse and cavalry. Stugalori. We await the orders. This is crazy. <laughs> Look how much we're just running them down. Nice. We're just uh, shooting to the side of these step warriors to kill them off. Uh, Mortal spears there, just standing strong. Nice and easy. Now let's just have all the archers fire at those guys as they run away. The enemy general is dead. Nice. I'm not sure why my general got involved when all of my archers were firing at them. But we're going to end the battle there for a decisive victory. And that's going to be the settlement ours. So, really nice. Pretty good battle. Didn't lose too many men. Now this army, I think we're just going to have to forget about the other rebel settlement for now. And just bring this army down south to uh, deal with Egypt and start attacking Hispania Citeria. Unless we just go up to Sarai and take it. We're too close now not to. Ready for order.
Alright, we took Agatow. And there are slums in Agatow. Okay. Double slums already. I'm assuming it's because we took it in the end turn. So that's just annoying. Uh, we'll make sure to convert that or repair it. Hopefully we'll be able to sort things out there soon enough. Okay, time for the Will of Dagon, I think, to uh, zoom down uh, towards maybe Paretonion. Uh, we might actually yeah, be able to attack that. That'd be good. Navy away, boys. Uh, the Children of Pani. I don't think we're going to attack Syracuse. I think we'll just come straight in. Maybe just take Carthage, like, just go straight into the heart of Hispania Citeria. It might be a bit risky, though. That's the only trouble. And I guess I could come down here, but look how many turns extra it's going to take. Irritating. Um, I think it's just we're, we're too far gone to, like, not attack Syracuse. Still going to take three turns just to get on land there, though. This is just... I don't even know what to do with this army, I guess. We may as well just move around like so. Can we not just attack this element from the water? Um, maybe it's because they got the navy there? I don't know. I'm going to have four minutes to take Gagovia. Why do they always go for the balls? God damn. Right. Ready for Raise that. And, uh, oh, nice. That's a gold mine. Same old stuff. Take the shrine. And uh, I'll take the food there as well. Good. Time to attack uh, Messalia. Another auto resolve. Fortunately, we have like ballistas in those armies, so that helps us out a lot with these auto resolves, I think. I feel like maybe I should just loot that just to get myself some more cash because. Yeah. <laughs> we will keep uh, one of these. Gonna destroy that. Dismantle costs costs a lot. That. I don't know. Anyway, we need to get rid of that. We can't dismantle. Uh, dismantle. The dry dock. Uh, we may as well sort of convert that. To a trading port. Wow, that's going to cost a lot. Maybe I just break it down and then we convert this one. Good. Okay. That will have to do, I think. I'm sure if uh, sacking's better than um, raising, but oh well. Uh, we're going to go and take uh, Narbo and Toloza pretty damn quick, so it shouldn't matter too much. Then we're going to be attacking directly into Hispania Saiteria anyway, so I don't mean this hasn't really worked out too bad. Uh, time for the Fury of Elithragna to continue down. Uh, we're going to take uh, Bene Ventum and then we'll take uh, Skullum as well. Orders? I might get rid of these guys and hire some different mercenaries. Mercenary gladi gladiators would be pretty cool. Let's maybe get some mercenary gladiators. How much do they cost? 570. Yeah, we've got just enough. We'll disband these guys. Mercenary gladiators. Awesome. So we sort of, we could sort of theme that as though we broke them free from Rome and then sort of hired them into our army. 
I like that idea. Okay. Um, here we are being hit by so much of the Burgundii. We go into diplomacy. Our relations with the Caledonii are actually improving, which is you nice. You are welcome, Otho, my ancestors and people. Try and get a trade agreement You're with good. them in the next couple turns, well, I think. No, we see little. I don't think we need trade. any of their lands. I think we just need Latium and we need uh, Africa, don't we? So maybe it would be worth getting the children of Pani to just come on to land at Carthage and attack Carthage. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Especially if it's undefended, why not? Um, yeah, let's go into our objectives. Let me just check that. So yeah, Africa and Latium are the only ones that I need. And I've nearly got Latium anyway, because the Skullum's the only one left. Uh, so it's just sort of zooming towards victory then. Very, very quickly. We've got enough uh, units maintained. We've got enough settlements by far. We've got... Um, Yep. Got everything else done. It would just be naval units. So maybe I should just start focusing on that straight away. So that when I take Africa, we win the campaign. I am still going to kill my enemies in the meantime. Uh, we will have Avengers First Cavalry uh, maybe move towards the border. Get in range to attack Big Bedorgis in the next turn or two. Because we're still suffering from these agent actions quite badly now why do I feel like I should just dismantle everything here rather than trying to rebuild it I think I might just do that I might the only one I'm gonna fix up is this one because that's the only one we're gonna use the rest of them we're going to just dismantle Okay, and that's going to give me enough coin to do some agent actions. So first of all, try and get rid of this one. 70% chance to poison. Even if I just wound, that's good. Okay, nice. And then I can have an agent come further north, I think. Let's see, where's Hydanis? The Hydanis is jumping on land down here. There is definitely not a army here so we're just going to go for the assassination onto this chat we'll go for a concealed blade enemy wounded that's fine what about Parmis? Parmis is by Astros. I think she succeeded last time uh, let's go for the Nahan Navali guy go for a concealed blade 45% chance of success in killing him which is just Really, really high, honestly. 75% chance of just success anyway. Wound is absolutely fine. Okay, we're doing really, really well. Uh, I might try and kill off this guy as well. This patrician of Lusitania while we're there. Uh, Cartier, Artemis, they're all fine. It uh, looks like uh, the Egyptian rebels will help us out. What I'm going to do in the meantime, though, is move back Artemis, just because I want to get some more cash income from civil administration. Uh, Sogdians can cancel his movement, so he stays where he is. And that's all of my agents done. Great. Uh, now the watchmen need a target. I could go for the Burgundii here and, and go for, like, another battle. Uh, but I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. The first men... They finish what they're doing, and we'll now head up towards Sarai. We will have a bit of a problem here. She maybe not. Like, our technologies and buildings are more than enough, and also we'll be changing out those buildings anyway. That's crazy. Like, our public order bonuses that I've gone into just make things so easy for, like, conquest. Nice. Uh, we're taking attrition this turn. I'm guessing it's because we've been poisoned? I don't know. She's got disease. Maybe that's due to this Nahan Nabali agent. Sucks anyway. Um, we need to give this guy a household while we're at it. 
What's what's his army made up of? I'm pretty sure he has Pushdig Band, doesn't he? And Guy Nav's Bar. So getting the plus five percent movement speed for all light cavalry is actually pretty bad. Um We'll go for the plus five percent morale for all cavalry in general. And for this guy, we're going to give him the Strategist because we need to give him the campaign map movement range to get back sooner than later. Alright, so these guys just camping out. Sure thing. Um, Avengers, 1st Cavalry, again, we'll just put them into fortification, get the extra replenishment. Um, I might do that here as well. I'm out of the settlement, put them into fortification. That's our turn complete. I'm hoping in the next couple of turns we can maybe become friendly with the Caledonii. Um, that would be really useful for us. Securing another trade agreement will improve our income. I like Rome advancing all over the place with their navies. Got to be careful they don't start attacking my Mediterranean settlements. That would be rather frustrating if they did and started to take those over. Look at that, Armenia now actually has an army um, <laughs> near the Marcomani. <laughs> I think I've been having so much success with my own agents that I forgot how annoying enemy agents can be. Because they are the primary reason that the Makamani are not dead yet. I should have been dead ages ago. But it is what it is. So we're just waiting and waiting. Eventually what's going to happen is we're going to have two armies on their doorstep anyway. So they should die. Um, well, in the next couple turns, I think. Where's Zakistan going with that navy, I wonder? Because there isn't anywhere that they can actually attack Cyteria down there, I believe. Due to me already controlling all of those settlements. We have poison wells and uh, poison provisions uh, hitting us. War targets invalidated for the Sassanids. So let's uh, go back into our diplomacy and realign that now onto Hispania Cyteria. Actually, I might even put it on to... Actually, no, never mind, it's fine. So, yeah, the Heroes Among Men got poisoned. Um, we're going to then use Avengers First Cavalry to hit Budagus. Oh, they're just out of range. How frustrating is that? Alright, whatever. We fight for you, my lord. <sighs> this is just irritating. So, so irritating. Um, where did that agent even come from? And how did they get us? Like, how is Xerxes not seeing that? I'm going to go into counterintelligence, I think. Alright, this is a new army that they're trying to build. That's a new spy. Just go and take Beneventum. Another easy auto resolve there. Uh, I'm just going to raise it My Lord. and just fix that up. That's going to give us olive groves. Wealth from agriculture in all regions. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I'll also get agriculture there then. Um, okay, at Massilia, uh, we do need to build some stuff here. So we're going to get the well, we're going to get a career post, and we're going to get um, the outskirts as well. This is going to be a harbour when I upgrade it. But no time to waste. We're going to have Shmini's commandos move straight on to Narbo and uh, take that. Alright, we will just uh, raise it then. And I will convert that Convert that. Drawing and nomad camps. Good. 
Then we can move on to Toulouse, unless uh, Boss Boru goes ahead and takes that. But I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. We're just sort of aiming on uh, taking out Gallic Rome entirely. That's kind of the, the thing I'm trying to do right now. The Caledonia, will Greetings, they take that friend. trade agreement now? We will speak together of whatever you wish, but bring words that can warm our hearts. It's high, so let's go for that. Okay, By nice. The gods. And now we're friendly with them. That's going to improve our income a little bit. That's good to see. Will of Dagon moving down to attack Parade, uh, yeah, Parade Tonion. And I'm not sure about Alexandria. But hopefully the rebellion will succeed. Let's uh, go towards administration. That's going to boost our income quite a lot, as you can see. And um, we have the first men uh, moving up towards Sarai. And unfortunately, guys, that has been my time. So I am going to have to leave it here. In the next few turns, we will be hitting Hispania Citeria pretty hard uh, with both our navies and uh, hopefully armies soon enough. We're going to be finishing off Gallic Rome and uh, continuing to sweep through Germany as well. I'm also going to be finishing off the nomadic rebels in my back line. So that'll be really nice. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.